Hey everyone, TAC1421 here with another episode of my Pokemon Fire Let's Play. In the previous episode, we are going down this route to get to Future City. In this episode, we're going to continue along our way by facing some more trainers and whatnot. And we do have to train a bunch for... Oh my gosh, this person's like walking away from me. Can you not, sir? There we go. Uh, so we have, to, we have to train a lot in order to face the gym leader of Future City, which is Koga. I don't know if I, I don't really know how to say it, but this person has a far fetch. We're gonna lead off with our Charizard because we really want to get Charizard up to at least level 45 before we start the fight. And that's gonna be a pretty simple task, but the other two are gonna be under leveled significantly. So we're gonna have to worry about that, but uh, we should be fine. And we should be able to uh, do, I guess, some, I don't know, we, we, should, we should be able to defeat Koga, but it will be a difficult task nonetheless. Alright, anyways, some more Charizard action here, facing a Spearow. And I will answer the question of the day while I'm doing all this stuff, while I'm battling and whatnot. So the question of the day from the previous episode, and it has been a while, is what is your favorite legendary bird? in uh, the Pokemon series, and this could be any legendary bird. Uh, and when I, f when I first asked the question, you know, I, I just thought of the, the three Zapdos, um, uh, Articuno, and Moltres, but then I thought about it more, and there's lots of you know, legendary birds, Ho-Ho, Lugia, uh, stuff like that, so uh, I guess you're, you're, a lot of people answer with those, which is perfectly fine, so, but I'm definitely, I mean, I, I'm gonna go, have to go with Zapdos, now, I really like all the legendary birds. Uh, I mean, the the three that I named previously. I th I think they're one, they're definitely one of my favorite like the, the three legendaries. Uh, you know, I've, you have the legendary dogs, the the Gigas guys. You know, like the legendary ro Reggie Rock, Reggie Eyes, Reggie Steel, those things. And then you know, black and white, and diamond, and, and stuff like that. You had other other things going on there. Um, oh, we don't have any PP for Dig left. That's not good. Oh well. Yeah, that's not gonna... We're gonna have to switch out here with Flareon, but yeah, Zapdos is definitely my favorite uh, for a lot of different reasons, but uh, yeah, I, I really like Electric-type Pokemon for some reason. You know, there's not really too many Electric-type Pokemon. I mean, there are a significant amount, but at the same time, you know, there's not too, too many of them and, uh, in, in all the games, and I just, I, I really enjoy using electric type Pokemon whenever I can. I, I really like Raikou uh, as the legendary dogs are concerned, but um, you know, same thing with the legendary birds, Zapdos. It learns some cool moves, as I said. Electric type moves I'm always fascinated with, but this is a fire red let's play, monotype fire red. We're only allowed to use fire type Pokemon, as many of you probably know at this point. And uh, with it, we, um, no, it's going to Arcanine. But with that, uh, Moltres is going to be on our team much later in the Let's Play when we find Moltres. And I'm sure my opinions on Legendary Birds might change because, as many of you may or may not know, depending on if you've ever done a Let's Play or not, uh, when you when you start to use Pokemon that you not wouldn't normally use, but you are you know have to use because of, you're doing some kind of challenge or something, like I'm doing here then you might actually start to enjoy the Pokemon a lot. Like in my Nuzlocke challenge that I did for Emerald that many of you might not have seen, but I plan on doing some time in the future, again because I had to, uh, my unfortunate things with my channel occurred and I had to get rid of the series, but um, the, the uh, I had to, I was using uh, Vileplume a lot and it ended up actually being one of my favorite Pokemon as also with uh, Lombre ended up being really one of my favorite Pokemon as well just because I had to use them a lot and I think the same the same thing's gonna happen here you know I'm starting to get more attached to my Arcanine and my, my Flareon and obviously Charizard I uh, out of the three uh, the three starting uh, uh, third evolutions of all the this first starters being you know uh, I guess Blastoise, Charizard, and why am I forgetting the third one? Uh, Venusaur. Wow, I cannot believe I forgot Venusaur's name. I'm sorry, Venusaur. I'm sorry. But anyways, those three. I think Blastoise has definitely been my favorite. But now, you know, using Charizard a lot, it's you know, Charizard has an amazing move set and everything. So I'm really liking Charizard a lot. And by the end of the Let's Play, you know, I might like it even more. 
but while I'm battling these trainers as well, you can see these this bike crew here. I wanted to uh, say something again. I in the I think it was like three episodes ago, maybe two episodes ago. I talked about how my friend Dylan and I were going to go to this one, uh, like this this I guess it was like a tournament, a Pokemon card tournament. Well, we ended up going for his birthday, and we had a fabulous time. It was really fun. There was 13 people there, and we, um, including the two of us, and basically you spent the first you know, half opening the packs that you were given, and then you had to make a deck with the packs, a 40-card deck, and they provided the energies and stuff like that. But I ended up getting some really good cards, some really good pulls, if you will. And I actually ended up winning. I went 3-0 and ended up winning the tournament. I didn't get anything special for winning, but I thought that was pretty funny. It was, it was a great time, regardless if, you know, I, I mean, I won. But even if I would have lost, it was a fun time. And uh, my friend Dylan and I would probably go to more tournaments in the future, I hope. So that's that. Arcanine is approaching level 40, or not 30, uh, 35. So that's definitely a great so I'm, I'm really happy about that, Arcanine. You're doing some work over there, buddy. And we're just gonna wing attack this coffin, get a crit hit, because Charizard's a beast, and get some more XP for Charizard. And it's looking like that's gonna be that for this area. We defeated all these bikers over here. They didn't post too much of a threat against us. Now we have to, I'm assuming this is a double battle, Sometimes this game trolls me and it ends up not being a double battle, even though it clearly should be. And it looks like it is going to be a double battle here. Well, that's pretty cool. Charmander to Squirtle. I like that. That's definitely really neat. Uh, we're going to take out the Squirtle with our Charizard. And actually, that will probably kill both of them. So let's um, let's go ahead and quick attack. Oh, the Squirtle is going to use a... a uh, unfortunately, is going to use a Protect, so it's not going to kill it. So, but the Charmander is done, which is nice. Let's use a Rock Slide, another quick attack. And it almost kills it. Wow, good job, Flareon. So, those two are no more. The twin sisters are gone. And we get some nice XP, I'm assuming, from those two Pokemon there. And let's see what's up in this area. Let's check this out. I'm assuming there might be something of some significance up here. Uh, there's a person with a green hat. I completely failed last episode <laughs> trying to name teams with with green hats. You know, it's it's hard with doing these these commentaries sometimes, where you forget something and you have to keep on talking, and you just don't know. Like, you just have a loss of words. You kind of forget stuff. Um, but I think I've done a pretty good job considering stuff. <laughs> but we take out that Pokemon trainer pretty easily. You know, you might have your opinions on that, but I think I've done pretty good, so I'm pretty happy. You know, Let's Plays are tough to do. Oh, I think we have another double battle here. Let's actually change into Arcanine. You know, Let's Plays are tough to do, but after a while, you you know, I think in YouTube in general, the, the biggest advice I give people is uh, do what you enjoy and bring some kind of thing to the table that makes your commentaries unique and different. And I, I, I try to do different stuff like, you know, I, I mean, a lot of people do questions of the day, but I, I try to do, you know, some kind of question of the day. I do some kind of like layout. I just, I, I try to mix it up um, and do different things. We're going to rock slide, see how that does. And let's, uh, let's leer. Why not? Uh, match punch isn't too effective. Rock slide isn't very effective. Yeah, it's not going to do too much, but we do lower the defense with, flare, with Arcanine, which is nice. So I think a rock slide might be able to kill. I'm not sure though. Uh, we're going to Ember the Hitmo Lee just in case. Yeah, it's not going to do the deal, but it's okay. We're, we should be able to defeat them next. This next turn here, Ember. Yeah, it's Ember the Hitmo Chan now. And oh, kill the Hitmo Lee and Moment of Truth. Oh, Arcanine goes level 35. Fantastic. Moment of Truth. Yeah, cool stuff. Arcanine doing work. Charizard and Arcanine seem to be a great team, and they're doing quite well, if I do say so myself. One more trainer. Oh my gosh, there's actually a lot of trainers on this route. I'm going to have to speed this up a lot, because there's a lot of people. Alright, let's... Oh, no PP left. Brick Break should do the deal in one hit. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, almost pretty much halfway to 46, a little bit more than halfway. See, there's a Pokeball at the end of this route. TM18 Rain Dance, which is the most pointless move for our team. I can't think of a more pointless move for our team at the moment. Rain Dance, what it does, actually I guess there might be a move where it like lowers fire type uh, moves, which could be even more pointless for our team, but Rain Dance basically it lowers, it keeps the rain going. Actually no, I might be mistaken for another move. I'm just gonna be quiet for now because I think I might be, I might actually, might actually be a different move I'm thinking of, but there, there's one move which calls the rain. I think that's rain dance, and then there's another move that like raises your your attack. So I'm not actually sure which one's which. Um, all right. Anyways, coughing, under leveled coughings, level 25. We're a, a, a huge 20 levels above these coughing, but now we we run into a wheezing, which is going to actually only be level 25 as well. well we're just going to continue flame throwing here and hopefully get to level 46 at the end of this fight. There we go, level 46 for our Charizard, and we're a level above where we wanted to be going into that fight of Koga, so that's very nice. Let's go into Arcanine here too. Uh, Flareon doesn't have any really moves left to, to really take on a coughing, so we're just going to Ember, and it's going to take it out in one hit. Good job, Arcanine. Grimer is next. Oof, we're going to deal with the evolution of Grimer Muck in the next episode. That's going to be a tough one. <laughs> I tell you, it's going to be a tough one indeed. But we're going to we're going to try to persevere through it. I think my fire squad's ready for the whole occasion. And let's take on this other biker here. Another biker has three Pokemon. A biker Alex. Let's let's do this. Let's do this thing. Level 28. You're better than your uh, your buddy over there. Your little um, biker buddy. Uh, let's uh, switch into. I'm gonna go into Flareon, what the heck. Flareon, I trust you. Also, you might grow to level 36. That's also a good thing. Let's use a bite, that's not gonna do too much. Oh, it flinched, all right. Okay, actually, you know, yeah, good job, Flareon. I always trust in Flareon, you know? All right, we're going to go ahead and stay in here and then switch into Charizard. So Flareon is gonna grow to level 36 after this fight, which is really nice because we are going to kill this Weezing with a flamethrower. No chance. I'm sorry, Weezing. No, I'm not. All right, Flareon, level 36, fantastic. You can see those stats going up. Trying to learn Fire Spin. Yes, let's learn Fire Spin. Heck yes. Good job. Only 15, but that's fine. The foe is trapped in an intense spiral of fire that rages two to five turns. All right. All right, I'll, I'll do that. Let's let's take out Sand Attack. We don't want Sand Attack. Uno Dust and poof. Sand Attack was forgotten. Flareon learned Fire Spin. And we defeated Biker Alex in the process. A lot of stuff happened there. A lot of text going on. Cool stuff. And all right, we got two, looks like blondes here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they don't know a thing about fighting. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a rock slide left, so we're gonna have to go with flamethrower. And we don't have too many flamethrowers left either, but I think we should be good. Wigglytuff? That seems like a blonde Pokemon <laughs> to use. <laughs> okay, Wigglytuff is no more. Charizard, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw it out there. I think we're gonna be level 47 by the time that we actually fight Koga. I'm just gonna throw it out there. We'll see though. Because we have to fight his like the guys that are in his place and do all that stuff. Let's go into Flareon here and try out the new move on a grass type Pokemon. Why not? That's going to be super effective on it, so might as well. Uh, and it's going to use a really bad attack on us. Fire Spin. That's a pretty cool sprite there. So now it, it it's also trapped. So it does the additional. It, it doesn't. It does. It does attack. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop talking. But yeah, see see how it continues on for a certain amount of turns. Wow, it did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> that did nothing at all. Okay, well I guess I don't know. It's good that it does a di initial damage, but after the initial damage, it does nothing <laughs> at all. Okay, well it, it ends up killing it, which is nice, but it is what it is. It's sending out Venusaur, Ivysaur, uh, uh, stay in here, level 29. Oh, I uh, didn't mean to quick attack, but we can get the crit hit. 
And we get some more XP. Good job. Good job indeed. And I just noticed that Pokemon trainer's name was Olivia. My girlfriend's name is Olivia. That's funny. Funny stuff. Uh, cool stuff. Alright, another green hat trainer who has a Gloom. And we're going to use a wing attack because that's super effective. Going to take it out one hit. No problem. Level... Um, we're going some XP here. We're pretty much halfway to 47. I'm going to switch out after this one and go into Arcanine here. And get some more XP on Arcanine. Arcanine, I choose you. But yeah, back to the topic of the Pokemon. Um, the Pokemon card game. It's a really fun card game. I mean, I, I definitely recommend if you guys, if any of you have some cards laying around or you know, maybe they're in a box or something. Like, I had all my cards in a box. But uh, I just, I definitely, if you never tried the card game out for a, a, a try, I guess you can say, then I definitely recommend it because it's actually a, a fun card game for sure. So, um... Yeah, go on ahead. All right, looks like we have hopefully two more trainers. Hopefully no more than that until we're done here on this route because it has been going for quite some time now. And I'm going to hopefully uh, take these people on as fast as possible here. Let's use a wing attack to take it out. And, uh, yeah. And, all right. Um, yeah, so we're going to be, we're definitely going to be level 47 here by the end of this episode because I want to hurry up and defeat these guys as fast as possible end the episode there because I, I don't like it when the episodes go longer than 20 minutes and definitely it's not a good thing and I know people people start to lose interest and people maybe they, I'm not gonna battle that guy and we're gonna try to get around this person too all right let's do that um, I might I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off screen and battle those two guys but uh, for now we're in future city we're gonna take on Koga in the next episode we have been here before I'm gonna heal up and then I'm going to fight those two trainers and, and maybe a few more trainers I can find that I might, may have passed on my way here. And I will see everyone in the gym leaders uh, arena in the next episode. We're going to face Koga. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this episode. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And I'll see everyone next time. Peace. It's wheezing.